Hi people, this is Angel from PRDV Entertainment and here we are on the number part 2 for importing your character into Unreal Engine. Now first of all in the part 2, like I said uh, to you guys on the other, uh, the other video, is that this tutorial here was going to be only with Blender, how to import your character inside Blender, make the animations and then we need to export our character as an FBX file so we can import it on Unreal Engine. So first of all, after you have already uh, exported your character from the Make Human software, now we need to import it here on Blender. And for that, first of all, you need to go to the File menu, you need to go to the User Preference, you need to go also to the Add-ons, and you need to type here on the search MHX. And you need to be sure that the checkbox X is selected because if you don't uh, click on the checkbox, you won't be able to import your MH, uh, MHX file and you'll get lost real quick. So remember to check this uh, little box here and click on Save User Settings so it keeps always on the menu. <clears throat> and now let's import our character into Blender. So for that let's go to File, Import and now as you can see on the import you have your Make Human MHX uh, extension so you can import it into Blender. Click on that. Get your character, your file that you are uh, exported from the software, uh, whatever you have it on your hard drive. Uh, I think it was this one, character tutorial. Yeah, this uh, this is the one I was using. So import MHX. There we go. And now we have our character right here. I'll pull this. Okay. There we go. So now. We're going to be using the timeline here, so we'll be creating the animations right here. Oh, we, I'll, I'll be using only three keyframes, uh, only to make a simple uh, walk for the character. So first of all, I'm going to turn to the side first on my ortho here, the right one. There we go. And now I'm going to change the position that the character is right now being on the pose mode remember this so now this is the leg this is the left leg okay so now he's gonna make the first step I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna pull this down a little bit here come on there we go now I'm gonna pull back the other leg a little bit now the knee now the, the feet, a little bit. Now the toes. So now we need to work with the arms. So first of all, let me go to the front or though here so we can close a little bit those arms because they are way to the side here. And now back to the right. Oh, my bad. Also the feet. They also need to go to the middle, just to make a, uh, 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 not perfect, but that looks good. So now that we have it, okay, here, now let's go to the right again. So this arm, the first arm, has to go forward, now for the right one, the left one, my bad, has to go here, pull this down a little, also this part of the arm here, just so it looks like he's walking and we still haven't done the animation yet so now we need to work with the body how is it going to move so if he has his uh, left leg to the front we need to move his body to the right to his left to our right so be something like this now we need to rotate that a little bit so it looks way much better. There we go. Now for this one also. Now, oh, my bad. Go there. Now we need to turn the head. So we need to rotate on the scene so it looks to the front. 
There we go. Let's put this a little bit to the front so it looks like he's moving his body. There we go. So now we need to select all the bones that it has and we need to create a keyframe so hit the I on your keyboard and click on locate rotate scale. So there we have our first animation already that's going to start with that position with that pose. So now let's make another keyframe on the 70 here. Why? Because on the middle, on the 35, I'm going to be creating the animation, the other part of the wall, of the character walking, moving the other leg and the other arm to the front, and blah, blah, blah. So for this, we need to, first of all, we need to point uh, to the frame 35 here. Oh, I'm going to delete this. Well, I'm going to put it on 70. We don't have those much frames there. So now let's move the other arm to the front. Now let's move the other. Okay. What's, am I at the side here? Yeah, there we go. So now let's move the other one to the back. Now this one's going to be pulled down a little bit. Now I'm going to move the legs. Let me pull this back first. There we go. So now let me pull this one here. This one here. Now the feet. Now the toes. Now this leg here. Now I'm going to pull down the toes for this one. Also the feet. And now we need to move the body. That was the other part that we were working on. So now we need to pull the, bo the body to his right. His head has to go a little bit to the right here. Now we need to turn the body to the other side. Pressing the R and the Z. Now, oh, wait a minute. I need to select the bone. There we go. So now he's gonna pull he yeah he's going to the other way so now we need to move the head Jesus what's wrong there we go let me rotate this because it's getting a little bit hard There we go. So now I'm going to move this a little bit. Also the arm. That's way too in front. A little bit. This one to the back. There we go. So now let's select all again. All the bones. And let's insert our keyframe. And now let's play the animation to see how it looks. Oh, he's a gangster. Alright. Yeah. Now that we have our animation, the only thing we need to do is to export our file. So, for that, go to the File menu, go to Export, go to Autodesk FBX. If you can't find this, please go to the File menu, go to User Preference, and just search it on the add-ons. Let me put it here. There we go. And just click on the checkbox, save the settings, and that's it, and you'll be able to export it. Now let's export this FBX human test. There's nothing else that we need to do here. Oh yeah, my, my bad. I forgot to tell you guys. You need to choose only armature. That is the bones, the mesh, and you can you can empty this one. We don't need it. And also you need these four check box here. Already checked. Uh, the apply modifiers also keep these settings the way they are so you don't have any problems uh, getting the character inside the Unreal Engine so we need to export there we go so now that we have finished with 
our animation. Now we need to import that animation inside Unreal Engine. So let's get the Unreal Engine. go there we go so now the unreal engine is coming up i just got a couple of projects here tutorials for you guys so working on a lot of videos i have a lot of videos to upload but it's kind of hard doing uh everything by myself so now that we have our unreal engine uh right here this tutorial i'm gonna i'm gonna end it only importing the character and showing you guys the animation now the third video is going to be working with the Unreal Engine to add that animation to your character inside your project so when you hit the play button to test your character you can see the animation uh, uh, with the character walking when you go forward or back or move around so first of all let's go to our character folder here and let's import our character so go to the import to game character and now let's get our character so here he is now let's click on open now choose skeletal mesh remember that because you're telling the game that it's gonna have a uh, it's gonna have bones on it so the game will know that maybe it will have also animations now go to advance now remember to ch uh, check these box here import mesh import red uh, I think that should be all. You don't need nothing else. And click on import. Just wait until it imports everything. Kind of tired. I need some rest. Now that we have our character right here on the game, now we need to import. Uh, the animations for that just do the same step right click click on import and choose the character again maybe you were thinking but that is the mesh where is the animations remember like I told you on the first video everything is right there inside the file so click on uh, the FBX file the character you created click on yes if anything like this comes up it's gonna come up I know because you're choosing the same name the same match so click on yes but this time you're gonna choose animation and clicking on your animation you need to choose from here on your skeleton has to be the one that you imported and mine is human test skeleton so after doing that just click on import and now we have the animation as you can see on our content browser so now let's see the animation of the of the mesh here a little bit close up here now let's play it let's choose the animation on your right as you can see it has your uh, your asset browser here where the details are let's click on it and there we have our animation the animation sucks I don't like the way he walks so maybe I'll figure out how to work with it later so the last thing I'm gonna add a little uh, I'm gonna add a material to this yeah let's do something and see how it looks let me add the shiny one yeah the metal here is gonna be for this one compiling shaders there we go come on it's finishing it's finishing it's finishing you can't see it but it's compiling the shaders there we go so now let's play it oh it looks like the guy from the Terminator movie and the girl also okay so there we go guys there you have your character inside Unreal Engine with the animations that you make remember on blender you can make a lot of different animations just remember to use the keyframes well guys hope to see you guys on the third video for this tutorial number three of the unreal engine of how to import your animated character inside the software hit the like button write a comment if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe this is angel from prdv see you guys next time